Welcome to the piano studio of Lisa Bailey and our continuing series on the circle of fifths. So far we have done C, G, D, and now it's time for A. This is our next stop on the circle of fifths. Are you ready? Let's do it together. Let's review our D five finger scale that we worked on in the last video. So remember D, we started adding a black key because we needed that whole step. So remember, start on D, whole step, and then here's our next whole step, half step, and then whole step. So that was the D five finger scale. Now remember when we are working around the circle of fifths, we have to move a fifth to find the next note to start on. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So our next starting note is going to be A. So let's put our finger one on A. All right, let's do our whole steps and half steps and see where we are. So let's see, we start on A and we need a whole step. So here's a half step. There's a whole step. Then we need a whole step. Ooh, look at this. There's our black key. Then we need a half step. And then we need a whole step. So A, B, C sharp, D, E. All right, so play with that a little bit. Get used to where your fingers are. Remember, as we're working in the black keys, because finger three is on a black key, we have to move, slide our hand forward. If we're way back here, finger three has a hard time reaching that black, that black key right there. So we're going to slide in a little bit to make it more comfortable for finger three. Now let's look at where your left hand is going to be. Same thing. Whole step, whole step to C sharp, half step, whole step. All right, so let me play each hand. So here's your right hand. And here's your left hand. Now you'll notice that I'm still continuing to keep curved fingers as I play. We want to play on our fingertips, not with flat fingers, because that makes it really awkward. It makes it very difficult to play well. So we want to be on nice, firm fingertips as we play. Now, After you've practiced hands separately and gotten really good at that and really comfortable, don't rush. We want to take our time. Let's do hands together. So let's try it out. So we start on A, ready? Very good job. So take your time working on that. Don't go fast. We want to take it nice and slow so we know exactly where each note is and which finger we're using. Once you've done that for a while, let's do the contrary motion. Remember, contrary means moving in the opposite direction. So we're going to start with finger one. Very good. And as always, that is my favorite five finger scale, the way to play the A five finger scale. So pretty. Let's move on to our improvisation with the A five finger scale. Okay. We're getting into some really fun stuff. All right. Just like last week, we want to work on fooling around on the A five finger scale. So as always, I talk about using long notes. or repeated notes. Any of these five notes in the five finger scale are what you can use for your improvisation. And remember, with improvisation, 
there are no mistakes. So try out a few things, see if you find a pattern you like or certain notes that you like, and you can pause the video. When you're ready, come back and we will do the accompaniment together. Let's do the accompaniment. I'm gonna be down here. So choose whichever hand, right hand or left hand, and you can move to any five finger scale on the piano, as long as it is the A five finger scale. This improvisation is in three, four time signature, just like the one from the D five finger scale video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count in two measures of three, four timing so that we come in together. Are you ready? One, two, three, one, two, three. That is such a pretty piece. Wow, I am really impressed with how you are doing on the circle of fifths. So that completes A, keep practicing it. It's a fun one to work on. Our next stop on the circle of fifths will be E, and we're adding another black key with E. I'll see you in the next video.